Casey, what do you got? Wow, what does that smell? That smell gives is Seuss scrofa excrement, otherwise known as pig toop. You can guess who you can thank for the stench. Jimmy Palmer. Because the pigs ate so much of our victim, it was Jimmy's bright idea that we should go through their waste to see if they didn't also eat any evidence. You know, when I took this job, sifting through pig poop, definitely not what I had in mind. Casey. You're right. I'm a professional. I will rise above it. OK, so moving on. That looks like Leon. Ah, uh, that's one of the newest stars of the hit CBS show, NCIS. We're talking about Deanna Reasonover. She's in her second full season playing Casey Hines, the team's forensic scientist. And she joins us now. We are so happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Pig poop for breakfast. Uh, yes, yes. Hey, it's never too early. So you really filled some big shoes, mm -hmm. Polly Perrette. And yes. Tell me what that was like to come in and, and really take over from such a popular character. You know, I was I felt really fortunate because mm -hmm. I was coming into a show that people loved, mm -hmm. characters that people trusted. Mm -hmm. um, and I was lucky because so much of the cast is so seasoned mm -hmm. and they really kind of guided my ship, as it were, into port nicely. Yeah, but it seems like there would be a lot of pressure with that to come into a show that's so well established and well, everybody's been, anyway. you know, it's like you're the new kid at school. A hundred percent. I felt like yeah. a newbie. You know, the <laughs> The funny thing about it is, though, I never expected any of this yeah. growing up, so all of it has just been like such a blessing and it's just felt so good yeah. that I'm just kind of giving a thumbs up that yeah. this has even happened. Yeah, because I mean, comedy is your thing. Yes. You're, you're a comedy lady. Yes, I'm and, a comedian. And, and this is really... Uh, a really different character for you to play. Yeah, I've never, once again, I never in my wildest dreams would have expected something like this. But it is a show that hinges not so much on, you know, what the crime of the week is. It really hinges on the relationships of the characters. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what I do in comedy, too. I'm yes. just trying to make relationships with characters. Yes, but some of the scientific terms. Were you pretty good in science back in Michigan please, back in the day? Please, please. No, not at all. You're My, studying a lot of scripts. Is uh, that what's happening? Yeah, there's a lot of scripts. My sister's a doctor, so mm -hmm. I do contact her oh, a lot. Nice. Um, I have a friend who uh, studied um, uh, biology, mm -hmm. um, so I ask her. And also we have a script coordinator, Suzanne McRoberts, mm -hmm. on set. That makes me sound a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and great. you just had a episode that really, you were the star. It was a big episode for you. Yeah, it was a really big Casey episode. Um, Casey's best friend um, from growing up has gotten into some trouble mm -hmm. and it the case comes across her desk and it's kind of the first time that she's seeing her work life and her personal life sort of intersect, and mm -hmm. she doesn't know if she can believe her best friend. Mm -hmm. She, of course, wants to trust her team, mm -hmm. but you know they seem to be at odds. So mm -hmm. it, it was really cool. David North wrote it. Mm -hmm. He's a writer that I absolutely love, and he really knocked it out of the park. Do you sometimes catch yourself almost like pinching yourself, saying, "This episode was written for me, and I'm I'm doing this hit CBS show." <laughs> Uh, I have a hard time believing it, but my mom keeps reminding me because mm -hmm. literally every time she leaves her house, she finds a way to tell someone that her daughter's on oh, NCIS. I love that. Which is, the people at Whole Foods are a little tired of it, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's, I mean, this is something you've been working on for a long time, working on your craft. Yes, yes, I have. I studied um, acting with the Mosaic Theater of Detroit growing up, mm -hmm. and that was something that really taught me the value of mm -hmm. you know precision and training, and I really credit them with being the one who really kind of turned that acting bug into something that had tangible results. Mm -hmm. And you've got a little project coming up? Uh-huh, yes. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> I'm laughing because it was so different from NCIS. Yes. I did a little indie comedy called mm -hmm. Film Fest mm -hmm. um, that should be coming out soon. 2020, everybody. Ah. 2020. Um, yeah. So. Yes, and that's something. Did you work on this with your wife? I know you're a newlywed. Yes, thank yeah. you. I am. Thank you. Now I get <laughs> points. Now I can go home and be like, yes, I mentioned you on TV. <laughs> I love you. Um, no, she you did didn't not work, together work on, on this. But okay. you know who I did work on it with? Uh, Man with the Plans, Matt Cook. Oh. Oh, he stars in it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So is this going to be more comedy driven for you? This is a this is kind of a dramedy. It's oh, about a group okay. of indie filmmakers who are getting into a film festival for the first time. I play the film's producer um, okay. who's really kind of upbeat but has no idea what she's doing. It's kind of the opposite of Casey. I love it. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we're excited to have you here this morning. Excited to watch you on NCIS. I'm excited thank to you. watch it too. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> so you for much. having me. Yes, thank you so much. And of course, you can watch Diana on 
NCIS Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock on our sister station, CBS2. We'll be right back.